So if you look at the Alzheimer's field, there are many different options. There are studies that are developing therapies for virtually anything at this point. I think what separates immune bio and what makes us unique is not only that we're targeting what we believe is the most important mechanism in inflammation, and not only uh, are we targeting inflammation in a way that stops the inflammation and allows the immune system to facilitate repair, but we're also selecting only the patients that we believe are most likely to respond. Alzheimer's, more broadly, clinical trials have used this all-comers approach. In other words, anybody who has Alzheimer's disease as defined by uh, the clinical deficit and amyloid pathology is, is enrolled into a study for any given treatment. We don't think that's how it works. That's not how cancer works. And cancer has had the most success of any therapeutic area because they've identified the right patients for the right drug. And what we've done is we've taken that approach and are only selecting patients that we believe have the biology that matches the target of our drug. In other words, they have inflammation. And as a result, our likelihood of success will increase. It also means that we're not subjecting patients that are not likely to respond to a drug that they're not going to have a benefit from and allows them to go do trials where their biology matches a different drug. You're not seeing a lot of that in neuroscience now. I think it's getting better, but Immune Bio for sure is one of the few companies that has selected or, or made a dedicated uh, decision to align the drug's biology with the mechanism of the drug so that we can get the greatest benefit to the right patients.